In this video, I will talk about how to fix broken links when you move files to SharePoint, in my case online, but basically it's the same procedure always. So basically I have some documents which I created on uh, my C drive and uh, those documents, they're pointing to uh, files which are also on C drive just in different folders. So I'm using here with absolute links. Uh, the same concept applies to relative links. Of course, in case of relative links, if you are moving files and keeping the same folder structure, links will work. So now what you can see here, I have uh, a link to C work uh, underscore work mover IO word sample file. I can just um, open the document and then the document is pointing okay in this case also to the same excel file now let's imagine that we moved documents to some new location let's say mover io2 and that was done with any of tools or manually it's not really does not make any difference so the files will be copied there and now if I start replace magic I'll just start it and then we will scan first just uh, with scan or when you run scan basically we're connected connecting to to the location where which is selected. Okay, let me just first connect to SharePoint. I already saved uh, logon data. You see that this is complete tree structure with everything what you have on on uh, SharePoint, and then I can just uh, select the location where files are just copied. There will be five documents with a couple of links. Some of those links I created, so you will recognize them as, yeah, as you can see. So five documents, total links uh, to pivot links, but basically we are working mainly uh, now um, in direction of, of uh, hyperlinks. So as you can see, there are some hyperlinks which are with C underscore work. I created them and there are some others. Others are created when I just decided to use some of templates, those links were already inside. So this is what scanning is doing. So it will connect to, to selected location. It will just go inside of the files and tell you how many links you have. It can also tell you if links are broken or not. Currently I'm not doing that check, but basically the check can be done if you go to configuration and go to processing and then specify check does hyperlink exist or check does file link exist. Now, to make changes, we need to go to search and replace. I already prepared my search and replace strings, so I will just load them. And I'm changing C underscore work mover IO to replace magic .com mover IO. And I need to specify where I would like to make changes. So this is hyperlink section. Of course, you can select any of those sections. And we are working not only with links, we can make changes anywhere in the documents. And we work with the PDFs beside Office documents, with Windows shortcuts, with the custom, which means text, so it can be HTML, XML, XML, any extension. Or SharePoint also, we can make changes in SharePoint pages, like we cure canvas pages, and, uh, and uh, those pages, basically content of those pages is stored in SharePoint database. If you select custom and you have SPX pages uh, and the link is really part of SPX page, we can change it by, by using this custom part. Now, as we're moving from uh, local drive, in my case, to SharePoint, I would also like that we convert uh, backslashes to slashes so that I don't have combinations of, of backslashes and slashes uh, later, at least not uh, with links that, that were just processed by replace magic. The only thing what I have to do now is just to start a replacement. And what is happening at this moment, we need to download documents. So we will download and we already pull all five of them as we are multi-thread application. And uh, the number of files that we can process at the same time really depends on the computer power on your side. So at the end, well, more CPUs, more cores, it, it, we will work faster. So it's uh, just a pure physics at the end. And uh, when we 
processes files, they're processed in memory, so nothing is saved, and then we need to upload them back to SharePoint. So you see the five documents which are processed, and then there are changes in five files, and then you can see also what was changed. So just to make this everything a bit more interesting, let me just change my original location because I now we move the file so they don't exist anymore really on my 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 my, my drive at least not with this uh, uh, folder which where they were initially stored so if i go to any of those documents basically but if i just open them uh, then I need just to refresh because I was playing around with the files, so I, I, I will just download the latest one. And you see now it's pointing to HTTPS, replace magic.sharepoint.com, and then mover IO to Excel, household, etc. So I can open this file, of course. Now it will just um, warn me about opening files, and then let me just refresh it also. And then basically even in Excel here, you will see that it's pointing to replace magic.sharepoint.com over IO, Word, sample file, or whatever. Now, this is the way how, how it is working uh, when you want to do that manually. There is an option. Let, let me just uh, delete everything what we have here. So then I'll just pull those files back so those files are now again reverted to original c underscore work and then something just to confirm that let me reopen them or at least one of those documents and then what i want to explain now is there is an option uh, in case especially if you're using some you see so it's c underscore work mover.io, Excel, household, etc. So basically, this is the original state. If you're working with any of tools to migrate to documents, and if they can create XML files, let me show it to you. We can start, or you can start replace magic with this parameter file, and then you can use unlimited number of those files for different configuration, different search strings, etc. And I can just open this. I'll, I'll close replace magic and then let me first let me open this file already. So it, it will point to location where you will, where your documents are, then a list of extensions that support it, so different parameters basically, and then there are search and replace strings that we used also previously. And then there is a SharePoint configuration. By the way, as this is normal text file, we, we can encrypt SharePoint username and password for security reasons. And then, okay, some SharePoint properties. So if I, now let me just double check that I have the same file on both sides. Uh, yeah, okay, it's the same. Now, if I go to common prompt and if I start replace magic with this file, it will run in kind of, visible mode, but you don't need to do anything. So it will just simply scan files and start to make replacement according to configuration, which is provided over XML file. We can also um, send per email results or we can save results in some location. So it's up to whoever is doing configuration or, or creating those XML files. And uh, simply is a quite big advantage here because if you're using any tool to move your files, if that file can create XML file in a format that is required by replace magic, then simply you can just create the flow and and uh, when the migration is finished, simply start replace magic after that with parameters that was uh, that were set and used there and then uh, we will make changes of your files and fix them. So okay it's, it is done. Now let me let me go to let's go to, to where again because we had it. Now you see what is interesting thing. You see we just changed that file. If you remember previously it was C underscore work something, it's still pointing and saying that it's modified three minutes ago. We can keep modified and we can keep modified by date as long as you're not using some functionality where SharePoint is not allowing this uh, this option. And that is for example if you have uh, approval procedure or if you have a publishing uh, 
uh, feature which is enabled and used. So in that case, it is not possible to keep those dates. Otherwise, we can keep them. So it will be really invisible to end users that the documents were changed, which is convenient in case if you're sorting according to date or who, who was making changes or whatever. And now if I open the document, You see, it's already changed. So replace magic.sharepoint.com, mover.io, Excel, and then let me maybe jump to the file. So it is ask me, do I want, and standard security uh, explanation. And then, yeah, let me just refresh. This one is also pointing to as you can see, to replace magic.sharepoint.com. I can also, of course, open any other document, like let's go to whatever, let's go to project. Project will anyway be open. Okay, and project, so. You see, four minutes ago, last change. It's opening, okay, so. Uh, now you see it's changed so that is kind of 12 minutes of uh, what you can do with replace magic so the point is you can work and process your files manually by providing this one clicking here and there or you can just use configuration file you can even manually create configuration file according to our specification and then start replace magic with it you can run and create multiple number of configuration files and we will just sequentially process all of them uh, replace magic can check if links are broken we can also um, this is those two options and uh, on my computer i have one cpu with four cores and two threads hyper threading basically with two and then i can run with uh, eight documents in parallel i could theoretically put even more but it's uh, it will not bring probably a lot of advantages because the course will be busy with eight, eight files in my case. So there are plenty of parameters here, but uh, in case of anything, you can always contact us over support at replacemagic.com. Uh, okay, that's all. Bye.